Here we go. Let's go to our chairs. Most of our practice today is going to be standing. We're going to be doing shoulders. For those of you who got the newsletter, <clears throat> talked a lot about the slump, about the text slump, the forward leaning slump. The, the mid spine is the thoracic vertebrae and we're gonna be working there today. And we're doing this because that part of my body has been really tight. <laughs> so come along with me today as we do some movement to lubricate our spine. And as always, we begin with our breath. So we're sitting a little bit forward on our chair, maybe halfway or closer to the front. And we just begin to notice our breath. And there's nothing to do with the breath, just to bring our attention to the in, hail, and the exhale. The jaw is soft. We're gonna bring ourselves to standing now. So we're coming into mountain. So come on up. We're gonna take our feet a little wider than usual. So often we stand with our hip joints stacked above the ankles. Today we're gonna to be maybe as wide as our pelvis. And we're just gonna pause here in mountain. Let the knees be a little bit soft. The jaw is a little bit slack. And just notice how standing feels. We're gonna turn the right foot out and the left foot turns in just a little bit, not much. And we're gonna raise our arms. Look out over the front hand. This is warrior two, a short step. Noticing our shoulders. Then we release the arms. Toes come forward to parallel. And now we'll travel to the other side, so the back foot turns in a little and the front foot turns out and we rise, we bring our arms up. And we notice how the shoulders feel. We'll come back to this at the end of the practice. And we release the arms and then the feet come forward. They're still a little bit wide and we come to Padabanda. Padabanda is where we lift the toes up, the body rocks back. And then we come forward with the toes, grabbing the earth, grabbing our mat, body leans forward. And now let's do some breathing with this. As we go in one direction, it'll be an in breath. And when we switch directions, it'll be an out breath. We're just saying good morning to our feet. Just going back and forth. And the next time you're coming back from grabbing the ground, we're gonna stop and pause in the center. Turn the right foot out and the left foot in. Lift the shoulders, lift the arms, release the arms, feet come parallel, left foot turns out, right foot turns in, arms lift, arms release. So each time we do that, we're noticing the sensation in the shoulders. 
was anything different by just working the feet. Because while we're going to be working the shoulder area, the whole body is impacted by anything we do anywhere in our body. So we're gonna start with scapula rotation. So scapula are the shoulder blades, right? So we're gonna draw our shoulders forward and widen between the shoulder blades. Maybe the wrists touch, maybe the back of the hands touch, maybe they don't. We're just noticing we're spreading those shoulder blades wide. And now we're lifting the shoulder blades, we're, we're lifting the shoulders up to the ears. And then we're slowly taking the shoulders back and down. So the shoulder blades travel toward the waist. Let's do that again. Widen between the shoulder blades. You might notice tight bits here, I sure am. Come on up to the ears and then move down the back, bringing the shoulder blades together in the back now. Coming forward, broadening between the shoulder blades, drawing up toward the ears and then bringing those shoulder blades together in the back as they slide down toward the waist. Again. Find your breath here and say good morning as the shoulder blades draw together. And then we come back to our wide, wide step mountain. And now we're gonna to go to short step warrior two. Back foot tucks in, front foot turns, arms lift. Bend that front knee slightly, just a little bit as we look out over the front hand. Hands release, feet come to parallel, turning to the left side. Bend that front knee ever so slightly. Up with the arms, noticing how the shoulders feel. And then we release down. We're gonna draw the shoulders forward. So now we're focusing on the upper part of the shoulders. So the shoulders come forward and the shoulders come back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. And now we're gonna do individual shoulder lifts. So we're drawing up the left shoulder toward the ear, back, down, forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down, and relax. Switch sides up, back down, forward, up, back, down, forward and up, back, down and forward and then relax. And now we're gonna take both shoulders forward, up, forward, back, up, forward, back, up and forward, back. One more time and we pause here, turning out again. So we're going to the first side, back foot cocks in, little tiny bend in the knee, shoulders. Oh, that's a little clearer for me, how about you? Straightening the front leg, toes turn forward, switching sides, bending that knee just a little bit, the front knee. And release, coming back to center. Again, the feet are still a little bit wide and we're gonna bring some attention to the feet. Now I'm gonna turn sideways. I'm touching the wall. I'm turning my toes backward, not, not standing on my toes. I'm aiming the top of my foot to the floor to release the ankle. Whew. three breaths here 
that might feel tight. Ooh, switching sides. So the top of the foot is aiming toward the floor <clears throat> and the toes are pointing backwards away from the body and the stretch is in the front of the ankle. And then we pause, come back to center, a little bit wider than the pelvis, warrior two, a little bend in the knee. Look out over the front hand, pause here for three breaths. Then the front leg straightens, toes come forward and we turn to the other side, little bend in the knee, arms up. Breathing three breaths here. And then straightening that front leg, feet come to parallel. We're gonna cross the body now with our arms. We're gonna bend our knees and let the pelvis follow. I'm thinking of the hula dancer in the room. While this is not hula, the mechanics are pretty good. Let the pelvis relax. And pause. Turning to the right, back foot cocks. Here we go. Bend that front knee, three breaths here. <clears throat> and if you're inclined, you can make this a little wider stance if you'd like to make it a little bit deeper into warrior two. And then the hands release, feet come forward, switching sides, little bend in the knee, looking out over the front hand, a few breaths here, or maybe just a couple. And then we release and we come back to center, Feet are a little bit wide. I'm going to turn sideways now. Some of you are familiar with this practice. <clears throat> We're going to lead with the wrist so that hand is limp. I'm starting with the right hand. I have a little bend in the knee. My legs are soft, they're not locked. I'm going to lift the arm just to the first point at which. There's a little resistance in my shoulder. And then I'm going to press into my feet, lift my heart to lift the hand. And then slowly release. Are you breathing? Let's keep that breath moving, soft knees, arm lifts, press into the feet to travel all the way up. So reaching now becomes a full body experience, not just limited to shoulder action. Come on up, press into the feet, lift the heart, lift the hand. This time we're going to let the hand float back. Any amount, no force, no strain. Maybe look at the hand, the palm will be up. And then we release. And we're gonna switch sides. Arm floats up. And you might notice a difference between the right and the left side when it gets to the point where you feel a little catch in the shoulder joint. Press into the feet to lift the heart, to lift the hand. Reaching becomes a full body experience. And then we release back down, soft knees. Lifting, pressing into the feet, lift the heart to lift the hand. And back down. And one more time. 
lifting by pressing into the feet and the heart. And this time when the hand floats down, we're gonna let it travel behind. Maybe look over the shoulder at the open palm. And then slowly, slowly, slowly release. We're coming back to our warrior two. So maybe you're still in short step. Maybe you'd like to take it a little wider. You decide. We're going to turn that right foot out, left foot comes in, bend the front knee, and then slowly begin to lift the arms. This time, palms up. If it feels good, maybe the palms turn down. Play with this. Does it feel better palms up? We're going to pause here. We're going to press into the back edge of the back foot. We're letting the pelvis, the back side of the pelvis, so that would be on the left foot. We're letting it turn toward the front. We're pausing here and we're using our breath to occupy this full posture. Slowly we come out of this by straightening the front leg. The arms can stay up or come to your waist depending on what your body wants to do today. We pause in the center and then we're gonna turn out to the left side, make sure that back foot turns in just a little bit as we look over the front hand. We're breathing here. Press into the back edge of the back foot and allow the back side of the pelvis, the right side, maybe to move forward just a little bit more. One more breath. And then we straighten the front leg. We're going to release the arms. Bring the hands to rest upon the waist or the hip joints. And we're going to hinge forward. So with the hinging, we're taking our head forward and we're pressing our sits bones away. So we have a counter weighted action. We're going one direction with our head, the other direction with our pelvis, with our sits bones. Bring your hands to rest. If your balance is feeling comfortable here, let your hands rest on the sacrum. You can interlace your fingers and then slowly lift the arms. If interlacing your fingers is too much for the shoulders, separate your hands and press the palms toward the ceiling. And to release this, we're going to slightly bend our knees. Hands come back to our low back, pump the toes up and down and then slowly hinge up. Whew. We're gonna walk our feet together. Just for a moment, let the insteps touch. Let the hands rest behind the back, holding opposite wrists with the heart elevated pressing into the feet. If this is a balance challenge, maybe just taking the feet a little bit wider helps. And then we're gonna release the arms. And open the feet just a little bit more. 
So the feet are coming maybe as wide as our pelvis. Sweeping the left arm across the body. We cradle it by bending the right arm and letting the elbow or right above the elbow rest in the crook of the right arm. Reach through the fingers. We'll be here for three breaths. Now we're gonna take that arm, we're gonna bend the elbow and we're gonna to touch right underneath the neck. Maybe it feels good to hold the elbow and press just a little bit. Three breaths here. Then slowly release that arm. Shoulder rotation up and back and down. Up, back and down, up, back and down. Switching sides, we're gonna take the right arm. We're gonna let it rest in the crook of the left. So that left hand is pointing at the ceiling. It's bent at a 90 degree angle, give or take a few degrees. And we're reaching, these fingers are alive in both hands. And we pause with breath here. And now we're gonna take that arm, bend the elbow, bring the palm to rest somewhere on the back, above between the shoulder blades, if at all possible, or right above the shoulder blades. Take the opposite hand and hold the elbow. You might be familiar with this as a tricep stretch, but you'll also notice that you'll feel it in the rib cage and maybe all the way down into the feet. And then we're slowly, slowly, slowly releasing that. This shoulder comes up, back and down, up, back and down. I guess that's a forward, up, back and down. Taking both arms now, we're creating the X. So the legs can go a little bit wider. Extend through the arms. Turn the palms up to face the ceiling and press toward the ceiling as simultaneously we do a pata bandha by lifting our toes. So the whole body is activated. We're gonna feel this in the legs as well as the torso, the arms and let the jaw be soft. Softening the knees bringing the hands to heart center, step or hop the feet together, letting the insteps touch. And now one more time to warrior two, your iteration, it could be wide legs, it could be a short step. We're gonna turn the right foot out and the left foot in. Gently bend, little bend, tiny bend in the front knee. The shoulders rise. We breathe three breaths here. The hands release, the toes come forward. We switch sides. Take your time in your transitions. Let that front knee bend. And then the arms float up. 
And we just notice now how the shoulders feel in this posture from the first iteration to this one. Releasing the hands, toes come forward, bringing the feet about sits bone width or hip joint width apart. We're gonna slide the hands down to the shins Press the left side of the pelvis back, the left hip goes back, we look to the left. Back to center, go to the right side, pressing the right knee forward, the left side of the pelvis back. I think I got the cueing right. We're gonna go back and forth just a little bit and very slowly. Gonna do two more times on each side. But remember, there's no rush. We're stretching things out here. And then when we come back to the center, our torso is parallel to the floor. Lift the toes. Bend the knees, press into the ball of each foot. Both feet were rising up. And we make ourselves back. We come back to mount, make ourselves a mountain. Pausing here. The day you've been waiting for is today. The moment you've been waiting for is this very moment. Tich Nhat Hanh. Happy birthday to you, Pat. We're gonna open our arms wide to gather all the blessings that already exist and we draw them in appreciation and gratitude into our hearts. And together we all say, Namaste.